Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about Python database connectivity. So when we write the Python code, so till now we were using the variables to store the data and whatever the data we were accepting from the user with the help of different type of data types variable in Python. But in real world, there is a large amount of data that is stored in the databases and from that databases you need to retrieve or add to the database the particular data in the particular table format so the database consists of a tables different number of tables and the table consists of different number of columns so let's understand how we can connect with the database with the help of python code so here i have a python code it will be a code which is written in the pycharm editor as a python editor so once we have the python code then we should also have access to a database so in our tutorials we are going to use mysql database so inside this database there will be having the tables and this code needs to connect to a particular table from this databases so it cannot directly connect to the database there should be a mysql connector and with the help of mysql connector we can connect to the database so mysql connector act as a middleware between the python code and the databases and it is used to connect our code to the database and then we can retrieve or check what is the data available in these tables and also we can manipulate like modify update or delete the data of this table with the help of python code using the sql queries so let's first install the database in our system so if you don't have any database installed in your system then you need to go to google and type here mysql connector mysql installer so once you type the mysql installer the first website that you will get here is download mysql installer click on that once you get your mysql community downloads then you need to download the installer as per your machine like 32 bit mysql installer once you are able to download the installer then you need to install it once you install it then you need to search in your taskbar and here you can say mysql so you will get this application mysql workbench open that application so let's open the mysql workbench here So in this way the SQL workbench will open and here you will have the MySQL connections. So when you, you install the MySQL workbench then at that time a default port will be there. So you need to have the same default port number. You just need to click on the next buttons while installing and you will be asked to set a password at the time of installation. So whatever password you set at the time of installation that password you need to enter here on ok so this is how the workbench looks like and here here you can execute the sql queries means you need to type the sql queries and then you can execute them so first of all this is the database that we have connected let's see what are the different type of database we are having here so to check that we have the query show show databases let's execute this query select this and click on execute query so if i click so these are the number of databases that we are having here information schema mysql performance schema sys and test db now let's create a new database here so how to create a database with the help of sql query you need to type create then database and then the name of database so let's say python db so this is my name of database python db now let's save run this so once we create the database then you can use the database so how to use that particular database you need to use the query with the help of keyword use and then the name of database so what was the name of database that we have created python db now let's run this okay now we are using the python db why we are not able to see that particular database here 
let's check whether the python db is created or not with the help of show databases let's execute this see our python db is created here so as we have created the python database now we need to add the table inside that database so let's use that python db use python db let's run this so we are now using the python db and now we will create inside this python db database one table so let's create a table create table after that you need to specify the table name let's say student is the name of table and here you need to specify the columns so let's say name is one of the column here which is having the data type var char after that roll number roll number and which will have the type integer will type integer let's save it now execute this query why we are getting here error var char okay now execute this query so here we have executed the query now let's check inside this tab database whether the table is created or not so let's say now we will insert the record or as, uh, you can directly say select select star from student so with this query you can check the content of that particular table let's execute this so see we have created a table which is having the columns name and roll number but this particular uh, table is not having any record here so that's why the table is blank so let's add record here inside this table so remove this create table part and i will insert insert into table name so table name was student insert into student and then the values values and let's add the first value what was it uh, it was name so let's add the name as john and then the roll number let's say 10 after that another entry let's say mark is the name and let's add 20 as the roll number execute this query now once you execute this query then select star from student here so see we are able to get the two records that we have added here which is john and mark so what we have done now we have created the database and added the tables inside this now what we need to do we need to install the mysql connector also so how to install the mysql connector you need to go to your command prompt press the windows key and then r type cmd once you type the cmd click on ok and after that you need to type your pip3 which is used to install the module for python and here you need to say install install mysql connector mysql connector and then you need to just click on the enter so I have already installed this installer so that's why it's saying requirement already satisfied but if you don't have the mysql connector installed then it will take some time and then it will install the mysql connector so that's it in this video in the next video we will create a python code and then we will directly use the sql queries that we were using here to uh, get the data directly inside the code so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video. Thank you for watching.